Second year in a row, both URI and Providence are going to the big dance in the same season. How about that? Both teams playing in a 7-10 game. The Rams a seventh seed Thursday against Oklahoma out in Pittsburgh with the Friars playing Texas A&M Friday down in Charlotte. Both games on WPRI 12. I was with the Friars tonight. We'll hear from them in a bit. First, Ruthie Polinski with the Rams in D.C. Well, just a few hours ago, the Rams were all sitting here in Bar Louie in Washington, D.C., just a couple feet away from Capital One Arena. They are going dancing for the second straight year. It'll be the Oklahoma Sooners they face on Thursday in Pittsburgh. Exhilarating, you know, one of the most talked about college teams in the country with one of the most talked about college basketball stars. So exciting matchup, uh, sexy matchup in a, in a city that where we've played pretty well. Hey, it's what we wanted, you know, we feel like this is the dance, we feel like anything can happen out there. We're blessed to be in, in Pittsburgh, you know, good things happen out there, so we're very excited. And it's hard to not look ahead and see who the Rams could potentially face in the second round, especially when you see the four letters that make up the word Duke. Reporting in Washington, D.C., I'm Ruthie Polinski, Eyewitness News. Thanks, Ruthie. As for the Friars, playing some good basketball this weekend at the Big East Tournament, just missing out on a championship, falling to Villanova last night in the Big East Finals. For a program record fifth straight year, Providence will dance. It'll be against Texas A&M. We're with the team tonight at Alumni Hall as they learned their fate. PC will be a 10 seed and take on the Aggies out of the SEC Friday. This group of PC seniors now playing in the NCAA Tournament every year of their career. Ed Cooley's team, a perennial tournament team with plenty of postseason experience. I caught up with Coach Live and Eyewitness News at 6.30. Your immediate reaction to getting back to the dance and the matchup. Well, you know, it gave us a different energy today, you know, coming off of yesterday's overtime loss to arguably the best team in the country. I thought our kids competed great, but it gave us a new energy, uh, a new focus this week. We don't play until Friday, so we'll get some rest and some legs underneath us. Four years, four trips for me. Uh, hopefully, I hope the, you know, next generation of players can keep it rolling. You know, some special brewing here in Friartown. Now, if you want to look ahead, PC could be seeing North Carolina for the third time in five years in the next round. And Rhodey, should they win, like Ruthie said, could be seeing basketball Blue Blood Duke, the program Dan Hurley's older brother Bobby played for in the early 90s, winning two championships. Much more coming up on the sports wrap, including highlights of that A-10 championship game with URI. I'm Yanni Krakis, Eyewitness News. Thanks, Yanni. Be sure to tune into the Bracket Breakdown Show tomorrow night on Fox Providence at 1045. Yanni, Mark, and Ruthie will give thoughts and analysis on the upcoming tournament. And you can count on the Eyewitness Sports team for continuing local coverage of March Hoops. We'll bring you live updates on both the PC Friars and URI Rams as they make their way through the tournament.